These are serious documents yeah. without the entry signed by the registrar. It's supposed yeah. to have a signature of the yeah. registrar. Yeah. The title did need to have a seal of the registrar, of registrar. and uh, also yeah. a signature. And they're, and they're all fake titles here. This guy wants to con human and beings. And all of them are not signed uh, at all. And the serious document. She should have left earlier. This is not the original seal for yeah. the land's documents. Yeah. What is this? For this one, the document, every entry of the, the green card must have signature of the, the registrar who did it and his number and uh, his stamp. It is lacking. We have a title deed which doesn't have a government seal apart from the nail signed by the registrar. No entries have been done by the registrars at all the pages where the registrar is about to sign. Clearly indicating these are fake papers which are being duplicated to call members of the public. And still remember, he's claiming he opened an agency to sell land. Yes. So he's actually duping. So uh, these are very different sort of titles. Uh, this one has a seal. Eh? So we also need to have the DCI to verify whether these are, these are the true signatures by the registrar. These are the kind of. There are several others here. This guy is even making life even There are several others. Really, play a little bit more. Why is that kind of These are so many titles. Is he getting the I think I think he so I, I think also the land registry should be made aware. We have also seen that uh, they have uh, been transacting with the Kenya Methodist University. And uh, what they have been doing is uh, trying to do a transaction for 160 million for the sale of the property. Oh. Yes, with Kenya Methodist University. Yes, I need to. History in Nakuru should be worried. Very, very seriously worried. Very, very seriously worried. There are several land documents, land documents from the registries.
Is it Bojan Nenezi? Yes. 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 They have a right to inform all these titles, conveyancing that advocates should be in all these envelopes. And these are up to the year 2020. So, the young man has been stealing work that should be done by lawyers in Nauru. agreements. And we are condemning these works. Signing them on behalf of Julius J. Bart. An unpracticing and unlicensed advocate for the last three years. And he is pretending to be your party. And these are documents and titles and transactions for up to this year, the year 2024. And I know there are several advocates who have not even done a single conveyance for this year. All this work being done by a masquerader, masquerader with full titles, transfer documents. Is it, is it origi these are original? These are original titles uh, with transfers, complete with transfer documents. This is for the year 2023, and the parties to whom the transfers are supposed to be done have already signed. Unfortunately, now, this one's been null and void because yeah. even the advocate who signed is not him. It's not yeah. him, number one, and also the advocate does not have a practicing certificate. This Julius, yes. Julius, Julius, five years. has not taken out a PC for the last five years. So we are dealing with issues of compliance. The reason why we are here today in Nakuru County to clean the system to ensure that advocates are the ones who are getting this kind of work. You have earlier seen in this office, we have seen titles that have green cards and are, which are seemingly from the face of the document. The titles do not have the proper seal of the government of Kenya. So we are also suspecting that this young man has been dealing with is a cartel that has been dealing with fake land titles. <coughs> Unfortunately, representing or in favor for unsuspecting members of the public in Nakuru. To be very vigilant, always ensure that you are going to an advocate who has a practicing certificate. And it is very easy, you just search the name of the advocate. In the LSP search engine, put the name and it is going to tell you whether that advocate has a PC. So members, be vigilant. Tafadali, do not agree to be represented by an advocate. And also the land's office. It is the high time that the land registrars ensure that any stamp that has been affixed on a transfer document, mm -hmm. such as these that we have found. I wish I just want us to report. Drawing agreements. No, no, no. Yeah. 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 Clients are transferring shares. We are wondering who might be giving it to. Thank you very much, members of the for the states. Uh, my name is Linda Kiyome. I am a council member, Law Society of Kenya. I am also the chairperson of the Practice Standards and Ethics Committee. Uh, our work is uh, basically to ensure that we have inspected the offices of law firms and also to ensure that masqueraders do not infiltrate the society and the work that advocates are supposed to be doing. So today, this morning, we arrived in Nakuru and uh, we were able to go around and inspect the offices. Uh, fortunately, we were able to get to Gatehouse and this is where we have come across the office of Ombati and Ombati Company Advocates and we have met a young man by the name of uh, Kirema, Boniface Kirema, whom we have confirmed from the LSK search engine that this young man is not an advocate. Unfortunately, he has been masquerading as an advocate, drawing documents, agreements. He has been doing conveyancing work 
we have seen many documents, including uh, some uh, proposals from the Kenya Methodist University for a transaction of up to 160 million Kenyan shillings. We have seen fake title deeds complete with a green card that is supposed to be held by the land registry's office. And we are perturbed by all the information that we have gotten from this office. We have seen uh, title deeds that are supposedly held in favor of some clients, and more than a hundred title deeds are in this office. Some of them have the original seal of uh, the land registry, others have fake seals from the year 2016 up to date. So we are here to ensure that this young man, Boniface Kirema, is arrested by the police, and we are going to ensure he is charged in the law, in the court of law, and we'll ensure that this matter proceeds up to its most logical conclusion. A word of advice to the members of public in this county, as, lo as uh, uh, also around the country. The Compliance and Monitoring Unit of the Law Society of Kenya has been going around to ensure that non-suspecting members of the public do not fall prey of such people within the Republic of Kenya. It is now unto yourselves, the Wanjikos of this country, to ensure that whenever you go to any office that purports to be an advocate's law firm, ensure that you confirm that this is an advocate who has a practicing certificate. We have said here on the news time and time again, it is very simple to confirm who an advocate or whether a person is a registered and a valid advocate. Go to the website for Law Society of Kenya or you can Google LSK search engine. Input the name of an advocate and it will give you and give you information as to whether this person is a fully qualified advocate or not. For this instance, the person, Boniface Kirema, who has been operating a shoddy office at Gatehouse in Nakuru town, does not bear an advocate's practicing certificate. He has been operating with a stamp of another advocate, unfortunately, who has not been taking out his PC. Therefore, all transactions, all documents that have been prepared in this office are null and void ab initio they cannot have any legal effect. So you can imagine the repercussions of any person, any transaction that has been done, any agreement that has been drawn, and the repercussions even to third parties, including banking and financial institutions. So we are urging members of the public to be very vigilant on our part as the Law Society of Kenya and the chapter as well as the branch chair who has been very supportive in this effect and also the chapter chair and also the all the officials of uh, the chapter nakuru we are going to ensure that going forward we are going to do inspections of every law firm even in the coming new council at the law society of kenya we urge all advocates to report any suspected person who does not hold a pc or who is purporting to do work for an advocate and is not an advocate. Those who have managed to close their offices today because you have had wind that we are in this county, we shall not go to slumber. We are coming for you. The best advice I would give you is to close those offices. May you be deterred by this action by Boniface Kirema to close all your masqueraders office. Any advocate, within the Republic of Kenya, who does not have a current practicing certificate, I urge you, I plead with you, as a practice and uh, as the practice standards and ethics committee chairperson, take out a PC. We are giving um, their back, their back, uh, their back charges that you're supposed to pay. You know the procedure. Kindly comply with the law so that going forward we clean our system before we start crying about masqueraders let us ensure as an advocate as you present your clients you are fully compliant with the law thank you very much we have been doing similar uh, operations within the republic of kenya we have been to western to kisumu to kakamega to siaya we have been to malindi to Kilifi County, we have been to Nairobi, and also we have been to Mount Kenya, 
to Kerenyaga, to Embu, to Chicago, we are going to ensure going forward on a quarterly basis. We are going to ensure that the compliance and monitoring unit has been strengthened and will continue with its operations on a daily basis. We are not going to slumber anymore. We are going to ensure that we protect the practice area and we ensure that advocates are practicing and no money is going to go to masqueraders and we protect the profession against any masqueraders. We actually have more than 30 since we started uh, these campaigns. We started these campaigns last year in March in Nairobi and we are geared towards ensuring that uh, we have cleaned out the society, we have cleaned out all the, the streets of masqueraders. We do not want uh, to encourage uh, persons who have not practiced law to continue infiltrating into the system. Even as we continue with online uh, uh, platform, uh, I urge advocates to always make sure if you are served a document by a new advocate whom you've not worked with before or you're not familiar with, first thing, confirm whether this is a, an advocate and whether this advocate has taken out a PC and is fully compliant. That is it. Thank you very much. Uh, my name is Teresa Vinya Nicolas. I am a council member at the Nairobi branch and I'm a member of the rapid action team, that is Team RAT, where we have also been doing this work of safeguarding our practice area by eradicating all masqueraders with vigor and valor. I'm standing here before all members of the public and more especially members of the noble bar, the advocates. As my senior Linda Kiyome has spoken, I want to urge members of the profession of advocates, please desist transacting with these masqueraders. This is not the first time we've encountered a masquerader who is alleging to be working with an advocate. Make matters worse, this person has gone ahead to even forge a practicing certificate of the alleged advocate, whom upon calling him to confirm if indeed this is his law firm or establishment, he has denied. Please ensure all your law firms, all your business entities have qualified people to practice. People who can draw pleadings, people who can sign on behalf of you, who are advocates and not secretaries, not clerks, or not just anybody whom you feel like you can put in there. Thank you very much. Let us continue safeguarding our practice because it starts with you as an advocate. Thank you. One sixty million. Yes, Kemo, Kenya Methodist University. I'm a transfer, Nils. At your transfer, they wanted to start a conveyance mm -hmm. for 160 million property in this town. All these are live files. Hey, you're person in Yingi Sala. I don't think I'm good. I'm not going to be able to do it.